Hello everyone. As promised, this is the video that I will um, do a little tutorial on for Edpuzzle. So um, we have a pro school subscription. I'm going to hide these tools for a second uh, for all of West Hill teachers. So it's a very useful tool. Um, it's pretty great. So without further ado, let me show you how to use it. First things first, if when you are using um, any app that you're going to do for school, just make sure that you are logged into the correct account. And I noticed that I'm not, so I'm actually going to log into the uh, jglow.stanfordpublicschools.org account, which is my um, school account. And do the five help stop coronavirus appropriate for the times, which is right here. So that's great. Um, However, let's uh, get to Edpuzzle. So if you go to edpuzzle.com, uh, um, this will be a little bit different for you guys because it'll be your first time maybe perhaps doing it. There are some teachers that do use Edpuzzle at West Hill. However, um, it'll ask you to log in. You can see that I'm, uh, you, can, whoop, hold on. you can see that I'm logged in here um, to with my, Correct jglode at stanfordpublicschools.org account. Um, hello, if you don't uh, know who I am, I'm a new special ed teacher at West Hill High School this year. Uh, my name is Jesse Glode, uh, room 102. So if you're ever in the 100s, just you know, feel free to stop by. Like I said, my connected account is jglode at stanfordpublicschools.org. Um, emails do come into this uh, from Edpuzzle to this account. That's how I got notification that we were upgraded to a whole um, pro school. You can see that here, West Hill High School status is pro school, so that's really great. Um, I had been paying for, I had been paying for the, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, the account, the Edpuzzle account um, for most of this year. However, uh, now we are upgraded all to this. So our storage is unlimited. Usually if you're not in, uh, an unlimited account, you can only do 20 videos, but right now we all have this access. So it's really nice. Uh, anyway, so let's get to Edpuzzle. And you're, as soon as you get in there and you, you log in, you see everything, um, or you can start to see stuff. You'll see that there's curriculum here and there's some tabs and there's some, uh, also some teachers at West Hill already use. Um, Ed Puzzle, there are 16 teachers. And then you can go to your content. Now, these are uh, these are videos um, that I've either used at West Hill or personally, but also have posted onto Google Classroom. It's really nice. Ed Puzzle, you can um, integrate with your Google Classroom so it works uh, very, very well. But if there's any questions at any point, please just email me or ask questions in the uh, Google Classroom that I'll show you in a little bit. So let me go back home. Um, once you have con your content that you've assigned to classes, it'll obviously show up in my content. Say we wanted to do a video. Actually, I'll just pick. I'll type in addition, even though I've already at one point searched for that, apparently. So I'm going to type in addition. I'm going to search for it. Okay. Once I search for it, um, the different videos of oh, addiction, not what we're going for. Um, there will be different videos based on that topic that you've searched for. I want to do angle, the angle addition postulate. I'm teaching geometry perhaps. So I click on the video and then the video comes up. Now, most people, most uh, creators of these videos, are going to be posting their videos like on YouTube or they're gonna be pulling their videos from YouTube. So that's why this will come up. Um, it's a YouTube video that they have edited with the Edpuzzle app to include questions embedded directly into the video. That's why I think it's so cool. So you can see that at eight seconds, 46 seconds and two minutes and, and, and after that, um, this person, I don't know if this is his name or not, but 
this person has embedded some questions at these uh, times of this video. It's an eight minute and one second video. So um, it's pretty good, you know, spacing in there. Why don't I show you because this is one of those things that you want to do if you're ever posting a video from any source onto Google Classroom or assigning it to any student. Obviously, you have to check for appropriateness first and also teaching style. Um, you'll notice that some um, authors or videographers of these videos um, don't teach the same way that you would teach it. So if you want it taught a particular way, make sure that you preview the video for, like I said, appropriateness and also content. So I'm just going to click start here. And the first uh, question or um, um, the first stop that this videographer alpha has made is at eight seconds. So let me click on this. All right, four quick examples on the angle addition postulate. Okay, so in here, this author has um, embedded this multiple choice question. Use your own paper for these notes and keep them in your notebook. Make sure to include the title, angle addition practice. And he says, got a sense of humor. No, I want to fail or okay, I'll take notes and leave them in my notebook. Um, I think this is the correct answer, so I'm going to submit this. And yay, it's the correct answer. Now, this will happen with your students as well. It will, uh, um, the authors of these videos, you know, you can, you can make your own as well, but the authors of these videos have provided the correct answer um, to the question, which sure, is important. Uh, let's get started with number one. Right. Uh, the given information here tells us that the measure of angle ABD is 56 degrees. Go down here, and all you do is you write in 56, and the measure of angle DBC is 60, and you're... Okay, so we're not going to watch this whole video because it's kind of a, a video in a video. Um, I'm just basically showing you how to use this. Um, like I said, you can search for content up here, find the content you want, preview it, and then uh, comes the cool part. Um, once you find this video and it's good, you're going to either edit it, copy it, or if you just want to assign it, that's also great. So I'm just going to click on assign. Okay. Now, you'll notice that I already have some classes up here that I co-teach in or I teach myself. So I'm going to add it to... I'm going to add it to... I'll add it to my math center, okay? And I'm gonna, going to click on assign, okay? But before I do that, actually, I, I said before that you can check over here, you can prevent skipping, okay? And what that means is if check students will be able to skip ahead, okay, that you don't want them to skip ahead, that's great. Um, close captions and also post on Google Classroom because I'm gonna show you that. Um, Edpuzzle has its own classroom setup, so I have my my whole math center in here. But I like to post on Google Classroom because it's kind of like my um, mission control for my class, and I post other stuff in there, not just Edpuzzle videos. So that's kind of nice that it does uh, that it posts this video not just to the math center within Edpuzzle, but also the math center on Google Classroom. It's fully integrated. It's also nice because if I post it on Google Classroom. It'll, once the students are done with the, watching the video and doing the assignment, it'll automatically grade on Google Classroom. It gives them a grade, so that's also nice. So I'm going to click on Assign, okay, and it'll assign it, and you can see some of these um, assignments here. Um, actually, these are my students, but anyway, let me go to make sure that I'll go to my correct account again because I'm going to go to Google Classroom. So I'm going to go to classroom um, .google.com, okay? And I'm going to take you, no, nope, it defaulted to my other account, so I'm actually going to force it to go to that classroom. 
we go populate. Okay, so here we go. Oh, I didn't see this. You know, I need to integrate this class into Edpuzzle 2. I'll do that in a second. Um, here we go. Let's go down to my math center. Click on my math center. And sure enough, the assignment is now there. You can see the assignment and you can see um, what Edpuzzle has already done. If you wanted to edit the assignment, for example, give it um, different... Uh, a, di a different title, okay? Maybe you want to take out Ed Puzzle, whatever. Um, you could do that, okay? Click on Save. Put some instructions in here. Watch the video. Watch the video. To uh, answer all questions. Um, carefully. Okay. Click on save. Oh, I want to go back in there actually, because I want to edit this and put it under the topic. Um, I'm going to create a new topic. I'm going to call it Ed Puzzle. Okay. Click on save. Here we go. So when I go to my classwork stream, Okay, it's now under the Edpuzzle category, all right, which is really nice. Okay, so let's go back to my Math Center, and you can see it's still up at the top here. It's great. You can you can move it if you want to. Um, it doesn't really matter. So this has been a quick tutorial on Edpuzzle. Um, I hope you enjoy, and. If you have further questions, please do not hesitate to uh, email me. Um, I will be posting other stuff in this uh, in this class here. This uh, this is our class, West Hill Teachers for e-learning. Posting other things in there, and that's that. Thank you very much. Have a great afternoon. Hello, everyone. I realized actually that after I had ended that last video, um, hopefully, hopefully you're still here, that I had neglected to add um, or explain a vital part of Edpuzzle. So once you're logged in, once again, make sure you're using the correct account and you're here and you've, um, you know, searched for your content. You could go to, um, there are a couple tabs up at the top here, Gradebook, which is one, um, okay. And my classes is the other one. Okay. So if you click on my classes, you can obviously see that I've, um, what I've done is integrated a lot of the classes that I co-teach in and you're going to go down here. Okay. Once you're under the, my classes tab, you're going to go to add new class and you can actually add, um, classes from, you can create a new class, you know, that you would not, that you want only in Edpuzzle, or you can create a class or integrate a class uh, from Google Classroom. So that's what I choose to do. I'm going to integrate a class from uh, from Google Classroom, and I'm actually going to do this one. And this one is my After School Club. So that is that. I'm going to import those classes, and they will then be selectable when you. Um, find content in the future for, you know, for those classes. Okay. So that is that. Thank you very much. And now this is officially the end of this video. Thank you again. Uh, take care, stay safe, sleep, get rest, drink water, and eat healthily. Thank you very much.